this is my mom. She worked at a museum called Old World Wisconsin and she played a woman named Mrs. Kepsel. Were you baby boy Kepsel? Yes, because so in the summertime we couldn't afford a babysitter so she would dress me up in like old vintage farm clothes. And must have been um, in heaven. I had to go play the part of Josiah Kepsel. Josiah. And I would like bring all the little tourists around and tell them all about the farm. Because oh, Josh was too modern of a name, so he had to be Josiah. Josiah. I was kind of a big deal. There wasn't like one lesson um, that she taught me, but my father died when I was very young, and my mom went back to nursing school because she had to support these two kids. I really learned from her about hard work and not letting kind of obstacles or setbacks, you know, put you down or set you off your life's course, but you really, you know, you see the problem in front of you and you figure out a way to get past it. That's pretty good. Actually, that's what made you bullheaded, isn't it? Oh, yeah, well, I'm a Taurus. Stubborn. Yeah. My mom was a big proponent of... To marry a doctor. You you fulfilled her life dreams. I you did went it. to New yeah. York City and met a doctor. <laughs> and married a goat farmer. All downhill. Maybe about 10, 15 years ago, my mother was like, don't send me any more presents. She's got a house full of stuff. So she said, send me a card with a memory that, that I had growing up with her. So one special memory of something that my mom and I did together. And what's funny is she almost never remembers what I remember. Oh yeah, well, it's a different perspective, right? So she gets well, actually, to like relive childhood. That's actually a really good idea. She was a teenage beauty queen. Was she really? Oh yes. Oh, I don't have a picture here, but yes, she's, I have pictures she was, of when she was in the pageants and the dresses and the, the elbow gloves and the bouffant. Oh, and actually she was a majorette uh, in high school, and so she would twirl fire. Really? Oh, yes. Yes, and it was, you know, back then, for those bouffant hairdos, you had to use a lot of um, hairspray. Yeah. And so you had to be... You so have you have yeah. skill to twirl fire. So we just want to take a second to say thank you, Mom, to our moms. And to all the moms out there. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day.